Oh, oh my gosh, that's where all the chunks were. What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today, well not just today, in this video we are going to be figuring out what my fish's favorite food is. I've never tested this theory before, but I'm going to try five different foods, the go-tos that I usually use. We're going to see how they react, we're going to see which ones they devour quicker, we're just going to see overall which ones they enjoy more. Real quick, we are one month away from Skelly Fest. Like, if you guys are in the Miami area, Broward, Florida, lower half of Florida, whatever it is, I don't know if you want to fly in, but Skelly Fest is one month away. Check out the raffle items on the website. I'll drop a link down below. There's some, there's some good stuff. This is a first year event, guys, and we're coming in hot. So make sure you get your tickets. They're only $12 online right now. They will increase slightly pretty soon, so make sure you guys get them in advance. I really hope to see you guys out there. If you do come, make sure to say what's up to me if I'm walking by you or whatever. Like, just let me know you guys watch the channel. It's super cool to meet you guys. And if you're new here and this is the first video you've seen of me, hit the subscribe button and then once you see me at the event, you can say what's up, you know? All right, so I think for the first feeding, uh, it's gonna be, like I said, five different foods that I'm gonna try. These are ones that I usually uh, switch up for them depending on how lazy I'm feeling and what I fed the day before like if I fed too much of something else Like frozen food then I'll feed something a little bit, you know simpler like just seaweed or something like that Nori I know it's called nori guys. I know I think we will start with the basic one Which is the nori usually obviously I put it in there for the tangs But all of the other fish seem to love it too a lot of times They'll even like devour it before I can get it onto the clip Which is super annoying because then it flies around the tank but uh, yeah, that's what we're gonna start with. Good old bag of regular classic old green seaweed nori here. We're gonna put a nice sheet like this in there for them. And I also pre-cut them just uh, to make my life easier and quicker when I go to feed them like on a daily basis. Fish food number one, nori going in. And look, look at them all excited. They know what's, they know what's about to go down. And, oh, they let me get it in there. Nice. There they go. They, they are super feisty. They just devour the food. I, I don't know what it is about the nori, but they are aggressive when they're eating the nori. Like, they don't hold nothing back. They don't care if they're on a date. They just go for it, full on. Look at them, all of them, all in, in there at once. For all of these fish food uh, demonstrations, the two metrics that we're gonna to use to figure out which fish food is my fish's favorite, goodness, that is a mouthful, is going to be one, how excited they are when the food is in the tank, like how quickly they attack it, how, 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 how excited are they to eat dinner today? Oh, all of these are gonna be, uh, I'm gonna wait at least a day to try the next one, so that way they're equally hungry every single day. So that's metric number one. Metric number two is going to be how long the food lasts. If it's something that's like enjoyable to watch or is just like, one and done, they just destroy it right away. So those are our two metrics that we're gonna be using and you guys are going to be the judges of, who, of what food you guys think is their favorite at the end of the five. How excited they are off rip, like when the food first goes in, I think this is for sure a 10 out of 10. It has been probably like three minutes and that is all we have there left hanging, which they also have seemed to chill out a bit now. Like they got that first initial burst of energy out and they're kind of just like scoping out the tank, like eat, he's eating it. Oh, he didn't like that piece? Look at this one floating. Come on, somebody grab it. Corals reacted too. Let's add that third metric. If there's any reaction with the corals, because obviously it's always good when you have a food that's good for the fish and the corals. So that's metric number three. How do the corals react to it? Is it something that's good for both the fish and the corals? This is a five to 10 minute feed watching session, you know? before it's all gone. There is actually one more metric that we need to include and that is ease of use. I can't believe I missed this in the beginning. Super important. My opinions on the nori. I feel like it's definitely easy to use. However, I gotta give it a couple points up there uh, on the downside because you gotta get your hand wet to put the seaweed in the, in the water. Yeah, that's it for the first feeding. We will see what is on the chef's menu for tomorrow. It is time for another day of feeding the fish. Today we are gonna be trying Easy mastic, the little balls that you paste onto the wall. 
and we're going to see how they feel about it. The lights have already been going down for a while. They started their uh, descent like two hours ago, but you can see the fish are pretty rowdy right now. This is the stuff that we are going to be feeding today, Easy Mastic. Uh, I don't use this that often. It's honestly one of my lazier uh, foods that I use when I just don't really feel like doing the whole melting the frozen food and stuff. I'll just pop one of these in there and, and call it a day. Now, if you've seen the full video that I did the first time I got this stuff, then you already know that when you open that tin, it is like, whoo, clears out the house. If you don't know, just know right now that this stuff smells real bad. So like, you wanna open that tin and close it up as soon as possible. I'm about to take one for the team and keep it open so I can show you guys the actual balls that come in there. But like, trust me, you wanna go quick 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 when you're getting these things out of here don't say that i never do nothing for you guys because this is about to destroy my nostrils come on there you go so they're like little they're like little mushy tablets pretty much mushy you see that so this is how they stick to the glass and this is what we're gonna do you also kind of got to pay attention to where you put it because if you have your pumps on then uh, you want to try to put it somewhere that it's not like super, super uh, strong there because it's just going to diminish this stuff. All right, guys, get your scales out and uh, your scales, your, your notepads out and get ready to see what the initial reaction is. And then you see it kind of coming off. Spread it out nice and nice for them. And boom, they're on it. They're kind of they're kind of figuring it out. What's going on? Oh, it's dinner time. Ooh, Dory's in there. I feel like like they're excited, but they're a little timid. You know, they're maybe it's because I don't feed this as often, so they don't really know. Like, oh, all right, this is seaweed. I just stuck that on there, and you could chill and just watch the fish eat for a good while. Whereas if you put like seaweed in it it usually gets destroyed if you put uh the frozen food you know it either melts or goes somewhere into the tank real fast this is just there and you could watch the fish and actually enjoy them coming and picking at the food they definitely seem a bit calmer to me you know they're, they're it's almost like it's almost like they had a really good lunch but they're now eating a luxury dinner you know, they're they're fine dining right now. Subi's kind of the only one that is really loving it and going back. Everybody is eating though. Like, our guy Grumpy's down here doing some work. The snails are out. The other fish are out. The clownfish are eating. Everybody is eating. Just a much slower pace eating in my opinion. It's literally been like 10 minutes and this food is still halfway gone. It's actually kind of cool too when you see them pick at it, how it all just uh, like falls off, watch. You'll see like a big dust bound come down. Come on, come on guys. Don't, don't make me look bad. Hello. You know you want it. There it goes, you, you see a little bit comes off. There it goes, yeah. So they have been going to town here, just slowly grazing the food for a solid 10 minutes now, and I'm pretty sure they'll have at least 10 minutes left on that. So, and how long it lasts, I think this is going to beat all of the other fish foods for sure, just because of, it, it just, it's the gift that keeps on giving. In terms of how crazy they get about the food, not so crazy. I think the other ones are gonna win here, but we'll see how this unfolds. Overall, a great fish food to keep in the toolbox. I will see you guys tomorrow. I'm gonna do something easy. I am gonna go for reef nutrition pellets today. If you guys are new here, hit the subscribe button and turn the notifications on. We've got new fish videos every single week. Also, don't forget to get your tickets to Skelly Fest because you're gonna be upset that you missed it if you're local and you don't go. Like, I'm just saying. All right, so these are the Reef Nutrition Chroma Boost pellets that I use. The medium size is what I use in this tank for my bigger fish, but I also have the Chroma Boost B2 size because I got this for the nano tank. They are getting pretty hype, which is always good. It's a good sign. I turn the pumps off so that the pellets don't like can't see anything. There we go. Oh. Hmm. 
they're excited. They're moving pretty fast. I don't think this is as much as the Nori, that's for sure, but they're active and everybody seems to like it, which is also good. Look at them, feisty fish. We got no, not really much floating anymore. I have to do this a couple times. I, I, there's probably a better way to do this so that they don't sink. Uh, drop some tips, guys. I haven't really looked it up, to be honest. I just kind of let them let them do their thing up there. Uh, in terms of easiness, this is my go-to when I don't want to do anything and it's like, don't gotta get my hands wet. All I gotta do is lift the lid, turn the pumps off and they're, they're done, you know? So on the E scale, definitely easy. In terms of lasting, that's maybe where this one doesn't, oh my God, I put a lot. Whoopsies. <laughs> Look at it, just falling down. I also spilled a bunch on the floor, which I gotta sweep up now, but. We won't tell anyone. Look at these blastos though. The lights have already been going down for a while, but fluffy, fluffy, fluffy. Oof. I just have to do a quick top down when I got the pumps off. You know, look at this. This this is looking crazy right here, this little section. There's almost no rock left there. Like if I just took out the rocks, it would just be cor coral rock. A rock full of coral. Yeah, so nothing crazy about the pellets, but they do work and they get the job done. Don't worry, for the last two foods that we're gonna try, I saved some good stuff so we can get some, some excitement out of the fish and really, I don't know. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Back for another day of what is my fish's favorite food. We are on the fourth day now. We're gonna try frozen mices. These are the ones that I have been using recently. Hakari Bio Pure, highly purified frozen fish food. I have this little uh, cut off water bottle. That's what I use as like my mixer. It reminds me of the bubble gum. The fish already know something's about to go down. They don't know what, but they know. Okay, so I got the cube in here and I just, um, they gotta wait a little. I just put a little water in here and then I let it chill up there for a little bit to get, you know, defrosted. Oh, they're excited. It's like feeding piranhas. Here we go, guys. Ready? I'm trying to I'm trying to get a full full view of them here. Alright, excitement's at a medium. Why do I feel like nothing came out of here? There's some chunks. Yeah, there you go. Get it, boys. Oh, yeah. All right. Now that now they're getting something, it must have all just stuck in the bottom. Look, look at this guy. Even, even Grumpy's up here getting some. Sometimes I split up the cube. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, look at it rocket. Whoa, did you see that clownfish? He just went like... Phew, phew. I feel like this does spread out a little bit more as well, so they don't have to all like be on top of each other eating which is, I guess, uh, I guess it depends on the type of mood you're in. If you wanna see them all at once or if you wanna see them roaming around. It's going away pretty fast, so. La this is the last of it right here. Look at them all. They're so excited. Oh, we got a little coral reaction over here. We got the snails out. Oh, and we, yeah, we got a little reaction here from the, uh, the scully too, he's puckering up a bit. The other thing that would contribute to this is if you were like uh, target feeding, then that would obviously be a completely different story, but I'm just talking kind of broadcast feeding right now. All right, we got one day left and we saved the best for last. Finally made it to day five of the longest YouTube video that I've ever made in my entire life. Not in terms of how long the video is, but in, how, in terms of how long it's taken me to make it. It's been a real commitment, okay? So I hope you guys hit that subscribe button and turn the notifications on and like this video if you've enjoyed it so far. Today we are going to be feeding the frozen fish food that we made a couple weeks back. If you guys haven't watched that video and you wanna know what's in the frozen fish food, make sure to check it out. I saved the best for last because usually I get a pretty good reaction out of the fish when I feed them this, so we'll see. This is the frozen fish food. As you guys saw when we bagged it up, I've used some of it already. I do have to break a little piece off of here now. Oh! I've had it out here defrosting for a little bit. Let's do like, yeah, sure, that much. That's a good amount. Get some water in there. Oh, look at that torch. Yeah, buddy, you live your best life right there, looking like a ball of spaghetti spinning in circles inside of a washing machine. 
Okay, so the good thing about this frozen fish food is that I made it, so I know what's in it, you know? I know I got the good proteins, I got the coral foods in there. We got a bunch of stuff for everybody in the tank. It should give everything a good feed feeding. Obviously, there's a little bit less of a ease factor to it because it's frozen in the freezer. You gotta either, if you pre-cut those, then you don't have that issue, they're already cut out, so. That could help you out if you do a little bit more pre-planning. I just missed out on it this time and I didn't, so I'll usually either bang it against the floor or if it sits out a little bit like how it just was, then it just gets soft enough where I could break off a piece. All right, here we go. So the fish are excited. We got our solution here melted. In, look at them. I'm, I'm, I'm just like hovering it over and they, they know what's up. All right, here we go. Let's do a couple. Oh. Oh, yeah. Go, guys. Go, guys. Go. Let me put some more chunks in for you. Oh. Ooh, they don't know which way to go. I'm, I'm confusing them. I still feel like the straight nori was the craziest. I feel like they freak out for that stuff. What do we got here? Oh my goodness. This is the first time I have seen these tentacles come out like this all the way around the mouth. Oh my goodness, yes. They're not even all the way extended, but I've never seen them come out that much. Let's just load this puppy up. Oh, oh my gosh, that's where all the chunks were. Oh shit. Oh yeah. They're going to town now. Whoopsies, I put a lot of chunks in that last. I, I must have not noticed that they were, uh, <laughs> that they were still at the bottom of that container, but look, they're smart fish. They're just chilling here and waiting for it to freaking propel out from there so that they can have a little, have a little game too while they play. These guys are having a little reaction. Look at the polyps extended on this one over here. Definitely got a good reaction on the corals for our homemade frozen fish food, which is good, like that's awesome. I really feel like they reacted the best to the nori. However, I'm gonna say the one that I feel is most beneficial to my tank as a whole is gonna be the frozen fish food that we made because it has the nori, it has the coral food, it has all the good stuff mixed in there. That's what I think, but you guys let me know what you think. If you guys are new here, hit the subscribe button and turn the notifications on. We've got new fish videos every single week. Also, we are a month away from Skelly Fest. It is coming so fast, and we are more than 50% sold out on VIPs, so if you guys want to get a VIP ticket, make sure to pick that up ASAP. I will drop a link in the description. You guys do not want to miss this. We have some sick coral vendors there, aquarium products, a workshop, presentations, a kid's scape off, a cash bar. So if you're into that kind of thing, you know, drinking and watching corals, that's going to be it for this one, guys. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Later.